L-methylfolate is actually a metabolite or byproduct of folic acid once it's been converted by an enzyme called methylfolate reductase. L-methylfolate as the byproduct of folic acid is the actual usable form of folic acid. It's pretty classically used in different reactions, including uh, making new neurotransmitters. So in mental health, the ability to uh, use L-methylfolate to make new neurotransmitters is critically important when we look at using medications or other treatment options that tend to try to raise neurotransmitter levels. That said, L-methylfolate is also used to help reduce homocysteine levels, which is important in reducing cardiovascular events. And it's also important in neural tube defects, uh, which is why we often supplement in pregnancy with additional folic acid. L-methylfolate is taken as a capsule traditionally. Uh, it can be over the counter. There is a prescription version called Deplin. However, there are some limitations based on costs and insurance coverage specific to Deplin itself. In individuals who lack or have a um, abnormality of their methylfolate reductase enzyme, who don't adequately convert folic acid to L-methylfolate, may struggle with the capability of making new neurotransmitters. As we alluded to earlier, if you struggle to make new neurotransmitters, you may thereby have or struggle with mental health conditions like depression or anxiety. L-methylfolate is not one of the medications that you'll feel working necessarily. It's working on the back end to help increase levels of neurotransmitters, which then can help uh, improve depression or anxiety. So unlike something like a Xanax that you might take and feel right away, L-methylfolate can take weeks on the back end to start kicking in and raising those neurotransmitter levels. Um, however, if you struggle with that uh, genetic abnormality that we often find when we do genetic testing, it's truly something that's recommended you take henceforth. L-methylfolate, specifically the drug Deplin, has been studied extensively in depression and shown to be beneficial at 15 milligrams per day. This is 15 milligrams per day of L-methylfolate, not folic acid. They're not e equivalent to one another. And so uh, certainly you can take more than 15 milligrams per day. However, we don't know based on studies what, or any, what if anything, that will do by doing that. L-methylfolate traditionally doesn't cause any specific side effects itself. However, I will tell you that as you start raising neurotransmitter levels, especially if you're on other antidepressant or anti-anxiety medications, sometimes it can start causing those medications to cause more side effects or to be more effective. And in that case, individuals might notice quote unquote side effects from taking L-methylfolate, although it itself isn't causing said side effects. L-methylfolate does come as a prescription called Deplin. However, again, as I mentioned earlier, it can be cost prohibitive and a lot of insurances don't tend to cover it. And so in that nature, there are over-the-counter versions of L-methylfolate, some of which are fairly comparable, though not the same to Deplin, some of which may be very far off from what's studied to be an effective dose of L-methylfolate in an effective um, encapsulation. L-methylfolate, like iron, like folic acid, is naturally occurring in your body. So although we don't know if you could take too much and cause something harmful, what we know is taking a studied amount of 15 milligrams per day, it in and of itself would not be harmful or cause any significant issues. Something someone might notice who is deficient in L-methylfolate because of having the genetic abnormality with the enzyme typically is a mental health condition like depression. There are individuals who, when do the genetic testing, find out they have that abnormality and get on an L-methylfolate supplement who that alone will be enough, maybe with some psychotherapy, 
to achieve remission or response from their depression. Although Deplin is the only FDA-approved version of L-methylfolate with studies backing it, there are a number of over-the-counter options for L-methylfolate that can be equally safe and effective. L-methylfolate itself doesn't directly increase serotonin, but again, it's an important cofactor or part of a reaction that leads to the ability to raise neurotransmitter levels, of which serotonin is one of those. Other ones include norepinephrine and dopamine. All three of those are, tend to be important in depression and anxiety. So although L-methylfolate doesn't raise serotonin directly, it is critical in being able to raise serotonin levels over time. If you're a patient who's had genetic testing and been shown to be positive for the abnormality with the enzyme that converts folic acid to L-methylfolate, at that point, it is recommended that you take L-methylfolate for the rest of your life so that we help reduce the risk of depression and anxiety, reduce the risk of cardiovascular events, and if you're pregnant, reduce the risk of fetal uh, abnormalities. Although not studied in pregnancy specifically, uh, because L-methylfolate is naturally occurring in your body, there should be no issue with taking L-methylfolate during pregnancy. In fact, if you have the abnormality on genetic testing, taking folic acid to help reduce neural tube defects technically won't be as effective as taking L-methylfolate specifically. For anyone looking to start TMS, we very commonly ensure they've had genetic testing to look for the methylfolate reductase abnormality. It's important because as we do TMS itself, as we're raising energy levels and reconnecting neurons, we need that higher demand of neurotransmitters. And so if you have the deficiency and you're not making enough L-methylfolate naturally, doing TMS and having that depletion or deficiency is likely to cause a reduced outcome or a reduced um, improvement over time. So we often look for it genetically and treat it during the course of TMS and beyond to ensure that we get optimal outcomes with TMS. A very common analogy I use with my patients as it pertains to L-methylfolate is the gas tank analogy, which means without L-methylfolate, you don't refill the gas tank. And so no matter how hard you push on the gas pedal with medications or other treatment options, your car, your engine's not moving anywhere. 